Today we're going to start 7.3. We're going to look at simplifying rational expressions. So we have three steps that we need to look at. Um, we need to factor the numerator and denominator. We need to look at excluded values. Uh, we need to cancel factors. So in the numerator, we have a trinomial. So this was the reason, of course, for looking at reviewing factoring. So we have a trinomial in the numerator. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 12. So let's look at the numerator. We need our x. We need factors of negative 12 that equal negative 4. Factors of negative 12 are 12 and 1, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. So we need factors when multiplied give us negative 12 and when added give us negative 4. So 6 and 2 it needs to be negative. So that gives us x plus 2, x minus 6. Um, the bottom, we have x squared minus 4. So we have two terms. Um, does it look like a difference of squares or difference of cubes? Uh, we can take, it's a raised to the second power. So we're going to think that that's probably a difference of squares. So we can take the square root of x squared, we can take the square root of 4. So this is difference of squares on the bottom. So x, x, uh, 2, 2, plus and minus 2. Now we have to look at the denominator. We don't want 0 in the denominator. Um, because then we won't have anything occurring at that place. So we need to look at each of these factors and set them equal to zero. So we have x plus two equals zero, x minus two equals zero. So that gives us x equals negative two, x equals positive two. So excluded values, x cannot be equal to negative two and positive two. Third step, cancel the factors. So what's in common? What do they have in the numerator and the denominator that we can factor out? It has to be a whole expression. So x plus 2, x plus 2. We take that whole expression and cancel it out because x plus 2 over x plus 2 equals 1. So then we rewrite it, x minus 6 over x minus 2. And we make sure that we include that x cannot equal negative 2 and x cannot equal positive 2.